I bring to you the word of God this morning because the Lord has been great and faithful. Indeed, I know when you look around you, there is the greatness of the Lord. There is always the faithfulness of the Lord. Amen? You know, when you look at your children, you see the faithfulness of the Lord. When you look at your husband, you see the faithfulness of the Lord. You know, spiritually, when you pray and God opens your doors and your ways, you see the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And you know, this being a Caleb Sunday, we're talking about stamping your authority in Christ. Amen. Stamping your authority in Christ. There is nothing as good as ensuring that, you know, you stamp your authority, you know, as a believer in Jesus Christ. Because when Christ has given you such a precious gift of salvation, you've got to stamp that and seal that because, you know, it's such a precious gift and guard it so much. Because, you know, it is not that everyone has it, but because you're privileged, because you're privileged to have this, you've got to seal it. You've got to stamp it. You've got to ensure you guard it so much so that not, no one steals. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, church. So today you're saying, I'm stamping my authority as a child of God. We are living in times of wavering in many times because people have disregarded church so much. If you look around you, people are not really trusting salvation. People are trusting other things. And that's why you find people run to protection so much. People run to other things because they still don't have the understanding of what is in Christ. Amen. But you see, in Christ, there are good things. The Bible says what? You know, in Christ, I live, I move, and I have my being. I've got to understand that as a child of God, I've got to put my stamp and put my foot ahead and up forward and understand that Christ has saved me. And Christ has taken care of my life. And Christ gave me something that is so precious. But not many of the times we waver and don't understand how do I stamp my authority as a child of God? Why do we waver in faith? It's because we lack the understanding of knowing that the, the far I have come, it is God. The far I am going is God. You know, by faith, you're able to understand that God will still ensure everything he has promised will come to accomplish. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anything, anything he has promised will surely come to pass. But you know, sometimes we doubt. We doubt our stand in Christ. We come to church as a normal Sunday. We go, we go to fellowship as a normal fellowship. You know, we attend gatherings normally. But when you are asked to understand and define who Christ is in your life, we start wavering, we start stammering, we're not even sure about it because we are still not very, you know, uh, 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 not, not, you don't have that authority in Christ. We still not have sealed it. You know, when I seal it, I make a mark and understand that it is Christ alone. Praise the Lord. So we have believers who, when they go out there, they side with the world. Say, you know, COVID is so bad. You know, my aunt has been admitted. We are not even sure about it. When the family goes into chaos and there's a problem, you just can't even stand as a child of God and say, you know, family, let's come together. We can pray about this issue. Because I know in Christ I live. In Christ I move. In Christ I have my being. Praise the Lord. Children of the Most High God, we've got to stand for what is rightfully ours and tell the society and tell our friends and tell the community that God is still on the throne. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is still on the throne. As a man is authority in the house. You know, look at sometimes when a man is missing in the home. You know, you keep calling and the daddy unarudi sangapi. Unarudi sangapi. Sometimes they, you know, ladies will even call you without even telling you anything. They're just calling you just to understand and it's not that uh, they're trying to talk much to. But you know, they miss this authority in the house. Praise the Lord. So just like Christ has stamped the authority in us, we've got to understand that we have to put a seal. Praise the Lord. Like a judge puts a seal, it is over and it is done. That's exactly what you need to do as children of God. I am born of God and I overcome the world. And that's it. Praise the Lord. 
enyewe hii job itawahi kuja enyewe hii promotion sio kama inakuja enyewe mtoto wangu sio kama atakuwa atakuwa sawa because he's been sick for a while is Christ still on the throne do we still have that authority by the word of god and seeing indeed it is god because he said that you know by his stripes we were healed in the mighty name of jesus daughter arise daughter you will get well that is the authority we have in christ you know when you have authority even how you speak matters praise the lord when you have, i'm not talking to people here let me let me come to this side when you have authority even how you speak matters praise the lord the bible says do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth many other times we speak with a lot of unwaver because we don't understand who we are in christ our authority has been tampered with because we no longer trust in the lord bible says proverbs 3 5 that trust in the lord with all your heart don't lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall make your paths straight give me second kings 6 and verse 16 trusting in the lord is important second kings 6 and verses 16 hallelujah our authority in christ will never again so he answered this second king 6 16 this is elisha just just go to 15 Give me 15 as we progress to 16. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? Let's stop from there at this point. What shall we do? The servant of Elisha came to Elisha. And told Elisha, alas, what shall we do? You know, this means already this man is scared. This man is frustrated. This man has fear in him. Praise the Lord. Hello, praise the Lord. What shall we do? You know, alas. This is an expression saying, what are we going to do now? Things are thick. We can't move. We can't progress. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. What are we going to do? Because it seems things are not going to work out. Bible says, next verse. Carry on. What shall we do? So he answered. Who is now answering? Elisha. Do not fear. Now, Elisha already sends this servant has fear in him. You know, by the question he asked, so what are we going to do? Because it seems already our city is in problems. We are surrounded. So he answered, do not fear. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Praise the Lord. Look at the authority that Elisha is speaking with. So he answered, do not fear. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Our authority in Christ is declaring and knowing that even in the midst of fear, even in the midst of problems, I still confess Jesus. Praise the Lord. In the midst of difficulty, problems, you know, frustration, the says, still says, don't you worry about that. Don't you know who we have? Don't you know who we are? Those who are with, uh, th I mean, uh, th for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. What is Elisha trying to say here? He's trying to say, you know, I have Christ in me. With the Christ, I have multitudes. With the Christ, I have angels. With the Christ, I have the Holy Spirit. So don't you fear about those people because they are just a handful. The ones who are on our side are so many than the ones on the other side. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are seeing Elisha stamping his authority in Christ and knowing, understanding that this, my servant, why are you fearing? Why are you shaking because of these small problems? We know who we are. We know Christ in us. We have big things. We have multitudes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Believe us. We've got to understand this. Christ in us is everything. 
When you carry God, you carry everything. Praise the Lord. When you carry Jesus, you carry multitudes. Praise the Lord. When you carry Christ, you carry blessings. Elisha told this servant, don't worry about these people. They are no longer any, going to do anything. Because you know what? Since your eyes are you know, closed, you can't see. Let's, let's just go ahead. Let's see why Elisha was telling this man, don't fear. Why is Elisha telling this man, do not fear? Stamping your authority in Christ. He says this, so when the Syrians came down to him, Elisha prayed to the Lord and said, strike these people, I pray, with blindness. And he struck them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Carry on. Now Elisha said to them, this is not the way. No, is this the city? Follow me and I will bring you to the man who you seek. You know, this is amazing. Enemies come to your door and they're looking for you. I don't know what your name is. You might be called John. You might be called Esther. But they come looking for Esther. And when you're looking for Esther, and you know you so what? In the name of Jesus, I strike them with blindness. They will not see me. As long as Christ lives in me, I have my authority in Jesus. And therefore, when they come unto me, they will not see me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And they come looking for Esther. And Esther tells them, please, tell me, let me ask you. Who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? Elisha said to them, this is not the way. This is the man they're looking for. This is not the way. Please come, i show you the way. No, is this the city? Follow me and I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led them to Samaria. Carry on. So it was when they had come to Samaria that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of this man that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes. You know, earlier Elisha had blinded their eyes. They could not see. Authority in Jesus. We can turn things around, but you know, sometimes we are just wavering. Our doubts, our fears. You know, what about tomorrow? What about my job? What about, you know, these children? What about school fees? Right now, you're only saying already, children have closed one week. Where is school fees? Don't you know your authority in Christ Jesus? Praise the Lord. You command things and they come to happen. You speak with your mouth and things happen. You should not fear because the Lord is with you as he was with Elisha. And Elisha said, come, I show you the way. And this man blindly following Elisha. A man they have been looking for because they are blinded. Now they get to Samaria and the Russian now says, now open their eyes. And now their eyes are open. And the Lord opened their eyes and they saw. And there, and there they were inside Samaria. Imagine mutu ame kufuata, ame kufuata, ame kufuata because, you know, haoni. And then once I go Samaria, let's carry on, let's see what the king said. Now when the king of Israel saw them, he said to Elisha, My father shall kill them. Shall I kill them? My father shall kill them. Shall I kill them? Carry on. But he answered, You shall not kill them. Will you kill those whom you have taken captive with your sword and your bow? Already these are in your hands. When, when already you have captured, you have no fear. Why should I kill these people already? Because already they are in my hands. What did he do? Set food and water before them that they may eat and drink and go to their master. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When your enemy comes, you know, serve him the delicious meal. Give him that food. Because once he's eaten and he's full, he will go back to his master. Praise the Lord. But you know, many other times that we are always, you know, Uchawi go kwetu ni mingi sana. You know, I come from Kakamega. I come from Sijui Siaya. I come from Kisiland. Wewe uji uchawi ya kisi. Wewe unajua uchawi ya Yesu Christo. Praise the Lord. Don't you know Christ ndiyo mchawi wa ajabu? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Don't you know your authority in Christ Jesus? We are still living in fear. We are still living in times where people are so frustrated because of tomorrow. Because they're not even sure. Believers are the ones spreading the negativity out there. Hello. Praise the Lord. Instead of saying it is possible. With God everything is. With God everything is. 
unajua wa hii corona hii corona tuoni kama tutatoboa there is one day we went with pastor joe to pray for a lady by the grace of god this was a very serious mission because this lady was suffering from cancer and she was at the verge of death praise the lord so we, we took time in prayer and we went in Kariobangi. When we go to Kariobangi, the house was full because the friends were expecting us. They have called the men of God to come. So to come here, Pastor Joe, you know, Hapa, we have to allow God to take control. The, the mama is just sitting next to the daughter. The daughter made a little sitting room just at the verge of death. I can tell you she was at the verge of death. We came in there. We began praying. We prayed. By the time we were praying, this lady passed on. This is a test. I'm not telling you something of you. This is something which happened to us. Pastor Joe, you can bear me witness. Praise the Lord. When we were in that house, we prayed, we prayed, and now Mama began crying. Hey, why were we leo? Hey, and she started crying. And I got trapped. Everyone was now coming in the house. To look on another multitude of people. And then all of them kept quiet. So we just with the pastor to naomba, to naomba, to meto ama koti, to meto atai, to meomba, to meomba. The girl is dead, completely dead. And we 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 go and pray, pray, pray. So we told, if you have no faith, just get outside. You have no business being here because all you are doing is staring at us. We don't want people to stare at us. We want believers who can stamp the authority in Christ. Praise the Lord. And we pray, we seek the Lord, and we say, God, you are God who heals. You are God of miracles. You are God who brings people even from the dead, and they come alive. Praise the Lord. And we seek God when we prayed, and we prayed, and we prayed. Then by the, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit led us now to praise the Lord. And we called them and told them, because you could not pray, at least you can praise. Sindio, now come in, begin praising. And they praise, and they praise, and they praise. As they praise, we put, we, we speak life to this God. We are speaking life. We are speaking life. We are speaking life. After some time, tell your neighbor after some time, this girl coughed. She sneezed. Praise the Lord. She sneezed. And we said we cannot relent because we know our authority in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. There are some things you don't just allow the devil to do it. You can still carry on and on and on. In Kariobangi, the devil's testimony still stands today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Someone who has already gone out of cancer, stage 4 cancer by the way. But God, but God, I say but God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. She is living and she's a testimony. That is the kind of authority we have to have in Christ. That we cannot relent. When things are thick, you still push on. You know, sometimes when you pray for someone and you find this person is not getting well, you feel like, And you keep praying and you keep praying and say, You have your own, you, 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 you keep doing all these things that you try and try and try. Na usema mama yako anakuambia unajua msichana wangu mambo yengine ni natakanga pia kuja nyumbani tuangalie kinyumbani na kinyumbani is interpreted as now witchcraft but they don't tell you that is witchcraft because the moment you invoke other gods the moment you invoke other things apart from god it is automatically witchcraft you are engaging other God, God has said clearly, do not worship any other God apart from me. And when you invoke other things and you find now you even put more problems to you. You put even more problems into your family. But you say, Mama, thank you for that advice. But you know what? I've got Jesus. And if we can, you know, push ahead, push harder. If we can be a bit radical about Christ. If we can be able to just, you know, put in more effort. God is still on the throne. He can still do this. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We come from families where people have put so many things. Because you know you know your mother was called this. Your father was called this. You've got to come. Even this thing called makumbusho. I don't know why people are still going for makumbusho. Unakumbuka ya nini? 
Unakumbuka nini? When someone has been laid to rest, let them rest. Because you know what? That is the end of things. When we go back to invoking spirits, that is where you find you are back to deliverance again. You are back to deliverance again. We are still praying for you again. Because you went and participated. And you are saying, Me, I'll, I'll just send money to them. Me, me see and you I only send money. We are coming from these families where people are doing these funny things. And you go back to the grave, you invoke the spirit, you invoke problems, and you go back home. Your child has headaches. Your child has migraine. Your child has below new problems in the stomach. You are the one who went and invoked the spirits back to your home again. Why are we doing this as believers? Why are we unstable in your ways? Why don't we declare our authority in Christ Jesus? Praise the Lord. Because Elisha stood the ground. He knew very well, in case of anything, I have no power. In case I'm Elisha by myself, these people will kill me in a minute. But because I have God, oh my Father, because I have Jesus, because I have the Holy Spirit, I can be able to speak and things will happen. That is the kind of God we serve. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stamping your authority in Jesus. Now, what are the facts of stamping your authority in Christ Jesus? Number one. Jesus secured our power and our authority. Jesus secured our power and authority. John 1, 11 to 14. John 1, 11 to 14. Jesus secured our power and our authority. That is the kind of power we always boast in because he himself secured this power and authority. So then he told them, John 1, 11 to 14. Praise the Lord. So then he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Carry on. After he had said this, he went on to tell them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. Carry on. His disciples replied, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get better. Carry on. Jesus had been speaking of his death, but his disciples thought he meant natural sleep. Carry on. So then he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Let's continue. And for your sake, I am glad I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Let us go to him. Then Thomas called Didymus, said to the rest of the disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. The Bible says what? Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem. Yes. And many Jews had come to Martha, Mary, to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Lord, but I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Carry on. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Praise the Lord. Your, you, you know that issue will rise again. Praise God. That problem that has died for so many years, it can rise again. If only we could exercise our authority in Christ Jesus. Amen. You see, the Bible says what? You know, I have given you the right. And this right, not everyone has. Because he came to many, and many disowned him. He came to many, and many left. He came to many who said no to him. But for those who accepted him, he gave them the right to become the children of God. Our God is faithful. But many other times, believers, tunangusha mungu sana. We are failing him in many times. Even in employment. Who can pray for us in this meeting? People are just looking down. Who can pray for us? People are just looking, you know, you're just looking at your neighbor and doing that. Church. 
siwe ni wa elimu kwani uniniambianga unaenda fellowship ah ntomba next time ntomba wednesday and here we come fellowship wednesday fellowships naimba tuesday fellowship you know no uko 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 job you can't even pray you can't even tell your, your, your friends by the way can we just come together for that you know lunch time prayers can we come together for that fellowship just to pray that this organization depends on you by the way because if these are the people who are coming to church every Sunday, who we are saying, you know, you are, we, are, we, are, we are born of God, who we are saying, you know, by his, by his stripes we are healed, and then when someone falls ill, call Pastor Joe to come and pray for us. But you have been charged every Sunday, every Sunday, every Sunday. Why don't you exercise your authority as a believer and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as your daughter, I come before you. The Bible says, by your strips, Lord, we were healed. And Lord, we say in the book of Matthew 11, 28, come unto me, those who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Today, Lord, I stand on this scripture as I declare healing upon this lady in the mighty name of Jesus. And become, you know, let the lion out of you. Let the lioness out of you. Become the giant in prayer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mara nyingi we just wavering. Hivi it hivi tu, hivi tu. Like you are saying, you know, we are marching. We are marching. But you know, we march, but we are not even sure where we are going. Is our direction clear? Is our path clear? Do we understand where we are heading? Do we understand where we are going? Do we know the path we are forging ahead? Do we know our destiny? By the way, if you don't know where you are headed to, you are actually in the wrong path. If you know where you're going, you can forge in the direction because even though the wind comes from the east and the west, you can still focus ahead and forge towards the very end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Even in family gatherings, stand. I remember before my wife passed on, we went for a dowry negotiation at their home place. And you know when you go for dowry demonstrations as a man, you have people around you to speak on your behalf. Praise the Lord. Very strong men, able in suits, three piece suits to come and negotiate on your behalf. So to Naenda Uko, to Kaenda, to Kafika. When we sat there, we began, you know, uh, negotiations. But you know, I when we just before we began, there was no prayer, you know, because already was all make up and he na pandehi. And so on. And so on. And so on. So the meeting began. So I'm sorry. I know I should not speak in this meeting. I, I'm sorry, my elders. But we have to pray. Praise the Lord. It does not matter the kind of place you are. Even if you are in the UN embassy, just about to, do, to get your visa. If there's no prayer involved, let me tell you, it can be canceled anytime. Praise the Lord. You've got to tell them, you know, excuse me because I'm born again. I think we should be able to begin with a word of prayer. Let's begin this journey with Jesus because it shall end with God. Praise the Lord. Not all blessings just be received. I'm going out of the country. Blah, 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 blah. The devil can bring some things to go and even, you know, destroy your destiny completely. Because he knows the kind of urge you have. The devil has mastered our patterns. He knows the kind of appetite to connive. Come on here, Pesa. When there is a money deal... Involved, you are called very fast. Come, in gear hapa, in gear raka. Kumbe being led in the problems. But because you don't know, you don't pray, you don't seek the Lord, you have no discernment, so you can't understand. So you just lead yourself like that. Hapa kuna mshahara, kuna pesa mzuri, we just want you to do this, do this account, you know, sign these papers, do this and this and this, and you are in. Not all blessings are blessings, eh? Praise the Lord. Bible says, the blessings of the Lord make it rich, and as no sorrow. You've got to discern. Some things are traps for you. You know, how comes I got myself to this place? I don't know why I, how I got myself in this place. Because I was just, you know, doing my things as usual. You know, I got this blessing. I testified in the church. Everything was okay. But now, I am going through this problem. Church, we've got to talk to the truth. The truth of the matter is, we've got to put our step forward. Our best foot forward. Not just by speaking, but by actions as well. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, we are not just visitors in the house of God. Sunday, ni kohapo, ni me charge, ni me charge. Other days, things are not right. You've got to stand and stamp and seal 
your authority in Christ Jesus. Amen? Number two, facts about authority. We have authority to preach the gospel. We have authority to preach the gospel. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. The Bible says what? Twenty-eight, eighteen, twenty-four. Where two or three? Is that Matthew twenty-eight, not eighteen? Matthew twenty-eight, verses eighteen to twenty. Thank you. Then Jesus came to them and said, "All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me." Praise the Lord. Then Jesus came to them and said, "All authority in heaven and on earth." Has been given to me. Carry on. Therefore go. And make disciples of, of all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Carry on. And teaching them to obey everything. I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always. To the very end of the age. This is the great commission. Are we making disciples? Are we really making disciples? When was the last time you actually evangelized or you, you really witnessed to someone about Christ? When was the last time you spoke to someone about Jesus? Lakini pale kwa soko unajua, hey, UDA, hey, ODM, hey, nini nini, hey, aki hapa, hey. And you see, these are the things we speak almost daily. Do they add value to your spiritual journey? Are you exercising and saying, God, you know today if I analyze my talk from morning to evening, there is something I have done that is so peculiar in the ministry and in the kingdom of God. But at the times, even as a student, even challenging others, you know, you might be very influential somewhere, but because you lack the authority and power in Christ, everything crashes and crumbles. You'll find yourself in messes, in problems, you're always in the receiving end, you're always on that end, and every time it is you know, every time you have to be prayed for, prayer, 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 prayer. When you have authority, there's some things you just, you know, speak and they happen. Praise the Lord. You speak and they do what? They happen. Our children, we can be able to, you know, help them and, you know, let them understand that my mom and my dad, they love God. My mom is born again. My dad is born again. Sio saa zile uko kwa nyumba kidogo zimekushika kidogo hivi umeingia lingala sijui nini umeingia kwa muziki you know when people have money that's when you know they are true colors are we together tap your neighbor when you have money we will know your true colors <laughs> praise the lord when when people have money yani wewe Unaweza je kula maharagwe lunch time kama sahi. It, ni, ni lunch time what is happening with you? Even the language changes. Kizungu ni ingia hapo kidogo ile mzito. Because the pocket is loaded. When people are broke, nanyenyekea mbele ya Mungu kwa sababu yeye ndiyo mwaminifu. Hmm? Baba tunasongea. Tunasongea chini. Yeah? Baba tunasongea. Unasongea kabisa kabisa kabisa. Unasongea baba. Na baba na yeye hakusongei. Hata kusongea. Yes. Because I know your intentions. You know the people who just come to church because they have a specific intention. Ni hiyo job ni kitapa hiyo job. Kama ni hiyo fellowship nitakuja. Kama ni hiyo marathon nitakuja. As long as he dropped you, Kuche, I will do. Pastor Joe Marathon, how many hours? Six, how many? Ten? Ni six, eh? Always if I get ten. Nita Kuche, too bad. Praise the Lord. We have become lukewarm Christians because we are only looking for something. Joe, Bikisha Kuche, Ivy. Haki niko busy. Kunaka meeting. Niko Zoom meetings. Jui niko happy. Niko happy, niko happy. Now, excuse after excuse. Saleka job kana drop hivi kidogo. Mushara imekatwa. Sasa hivi mnaambia sio juu ya covid, people will be laid off. Tunaanza kukuona tu pole pole. Leo kuna service ama inaanza saa ngapi? 
Sabi si Nazanga Sangapi, ni ako nga, ni, ni three hama ni four, haba ni. Iyo, iyo, nini, fellowship ya Wednesday, nakuja. By two, uko hapa. Two, you are here. Where is your authority in Christ Jesus? Where did we lose it? Because you know, Christ says in all, you know, give thanks in all seasons. Praise the Lord. When things are okay, give thanks. In fact, let me tell you as a believer, we should not even know your patterns. Some people are just gloomy because they have no money. What is money? Is money even anything before Christ? But you know, sometimes when you look at you, we can even tell who you, how things are. Who you? Who you? Who you? Mambo ikombaya. Who you rent ni kama mambo ime area ziko. Now who you naona kama kuna shida flani. Because we can only see. You will carry your problems before. You know, we can see physically things are wrong. But you see, when you are in Christ, nothing should shake you. You are supposed to actually be the same. The same way Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever more. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, all power has been given unto me. Go ye and make them disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's not just leave the work of God to the men of God only. They also tire. But you know what? You've got to stand and also declare that God is faithful. You have a neighbor. This neighbor, you always see them fighting. You always see them, you know, coming to the house late. You always see them, you know, drunk. You always see them quarreling. Why don't you even witness to your neighbor? You know, we live in this city like we don't know, but sayo kikwana gunshots. Kwa plot, unajotu watu anajuana. Nani, meski yo, these are shots. Na uli sikia, ama uko sikia. Zilikuwa. Na you never even talk to each other, but gunshots have brought it together. Yeah, I love say that's how you come back to form a WhatsApp group because anything can happen to us. So let's form who will, who will be the admin in this group to Jaribut Saidiana because you never know about tomorrow. Problems people bring people together, but how about you just go and just knock on that door? Tell them my name is Penina Oronje, Pastor. I come from Elim Pentecostal Church. I am born again and I love the Lord. I'll want just to witness to you about Jesus because Jesus loves you. Are you born again? Uh, we to church and so on. Uh, so. Okay, all right, that's good. Going to church is very good, but there is something more than that. You know, the Bible says in the book of Romans 10, verses 9. You know what? If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Christ died for you, then you will get born again. Say these words Lord Jesus. That is how you begin your ministration, that's how you begin your witnessy. When people call, when a juanga hapa, kuna mama na ombanga kwa plot. Let people know you with that. That is the authority you carry. That is your seal. That is your, your shield. There, there's a mama who prays yata to the langi usiku. Because your prayers, it was keeps that, not that place going. It keeps people away from problems. It keeps people glued together. Amen. Where I used to stay, People used to sit still side mirrors. We look at subui, we mevunja side mirror, we mevunja, we mevunja. Then one day we we came together. I said, "Why don't we just come together to one? What is the problem?" And then when we came together, I told them, "You see, let's just pray for you know our estate in general because you know these things have been happening, and I know that is one thing that we can do apart from security. Let's just pray. You know, when we seek God about prayer, two days later, the boys who were stealing, they were found." They were found right there. They were trying to steal. And then one of them who had come and I got him levy. I'm a drunker, kulewa, mekuja, mekuja. When he got there, he saw some people. And then he just called the chairman of the area. The chairman came out. He sent a message to all the WhatsApp groups. We came out. And those boys were arrested. And from that day, there was no stealing anymore. You can do some small things and they can impact the society. You can do some little things that you think they are not so much, but they can go as so I mean, very far away to help some people in many things. But you know, sometimes we belittle ourselves. You look at your faith, you know, Mimi, Sifai. Sifai, Mungu, Sifai kuja mbele zako. Sasa unakuja mbele zako nini? Sistahili Mungu kuja mbele zako. Kwasa kama ustahili unakuja kufanya? Some kind of prayers we pray. Mungu unajua. Mimi ni nimevunjika kwa imani. Mimi ni mtu ambaye hata sifai. Nimedhoofika kabisa. 
Mungu unajua hata mbele zako sistahili. Sasa kama hustahili mbele ya Mungu. Sasa yeye atakusaidia namna gani? You come to God because you feel like you know that's how we say hiyo ndio kunyenyekea. Hiyo si kunyenyekea. That is not humility. Praise the Lord. In fact humility is declaring your standing in Christ. Amen. Not these prayers you are kulia kila saa tu. You know there are people who are used to crying. Every time they pray they have to cry. Hai Mungu. Hai. Woi 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 no Mungu. Hey hey hey. Hata tujamaza 2 minutes. Hey. Mungu baba unajua. Hai hiyo kazi Mungu baba. Hele, hele, hele. And you cry the whole time. When you start praying, you cry. But how about you change your prayer pattern and say, Father, I thank you because I have received this job. I thank you because I know I am your child. I declare this job is mine in the name of Jesus. I will not be a failure. I will succeed. I pray for this interview today. Lord, I shall emerge victorious in the name of Jesus. Authority is confidence. Praise the Lord. Authority is power. Amen. Authority is stepping forward and going aside ahead even though others think it is not possible. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Number three, we have authority to stand against Satan. Ephesians 4, 27 to 28. We have authority to stand against Satan. Devil has no power upon our lives. The Bible says what? And do not give the devil a foothold. Don't give the devil a what? Other verses say, don't give a devil a chance. Many times we give him a, a, you know, a chance. He comes to our lives, he breaks, he comes in, he destroys, he breaks, he frustrates you. That's when you now start knowing now how you can be able to come to Christ. No. The best way to deal with the devil is to not give him a chance. There are places where if you see the devil coming to you, you close those, you know, those, those loopholes. But you know, many times we give him that door to come in, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly. Look at this. Leave no such room or foothold for the devil. Give no opportunity to him. Because we know where the devil comes in. The Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Christ came to do what? But Christ came to do what? No, surely. Why are you saying like, that is the authority I'm talking about. But Christ came to do No way. Read the scripture to the very end. Because that's how you exercise it. You know, well, let me tell you, uh, teachers who understand, when you teach a child something, when they know it, they can go ahead and even sing. My girl always comes and sing to me and tell daddy, come and to dance wimbo in Then I ask her, which wimbo? Where's mama do hapa? Where's mama hapa? Now, be, why is she saying that? Because she understands. She knows. She has a know-how. She knows how the song goes. Now, usi dance ivi, where dance ivi, ni fuwata ivi, ni fuwata ivi. Because she understands how the song goes, she has a know-how, she has the ability, she has been taught, and she has taken all. Ameyelewa kabisa. So when she begins doing this, she can even command to do it. Praise the Lord. Why do police officers arrest people? Because they have what? Authority. When the president today says this country will be locked down, it will go on lockdown. Why? Because he has authority. Like in where, where, where do, is your authority? Where is your authority? Where is it really? If you look around Kabisa in your life, are you really seeing an authority? Or everything is just nice manga like ni siyamini. Nice manga like ni nanga yo church like ni siju kama ntakuwa hivi. And uh, you know, everything is half-baked, half-baked, half-baked. But how if we just pull our stand and say, God, it is you. And no any other way. It is Christ's way. No any other way. That is the way to follow. Praise Jesus. Number four, we are seated with him in high authority. We are seated with him in high what? Authority. Give me Ephesians 1.19. King James. Ephesians 1.19. Imagine the way we are, we are with Christ. Did you know by the way you carry the mind of Christ? Do you know you carry the mind of Christ? Like in your kidogo ivi. Nasikia sukari na panda. Someone told me, nasikia kitu inakuja hivi, inateremuka hivi. Iyo ni nini, nasikia kitu na panda, inatuakea hapa, 
inakuja hivi alafu nikikaa kidogo tena inarudi hivi now so i asked hii kitu ni kitu gani yeah now why because anytime your body you know sometimes even muscle stretch eh is not a prayer issue <laughs> Praise the Lord. Sometimes it's just a gym. The way we have done some gym here and praying and seeking and praising the Lord. Sometimes muscles do what? Stretch. Lakini, ay, venya nasikia hii mgongo, hii mgongo siyo yangu. Na hii mgongo sijui ni ya nani. Ni ya nani yu mgongo kama siyo yako. Hii mgongo labda ni peleke mwenyewe. Hii siya. But because you've been sitting for long, Stretch, stand up, ruka ruka, praise the Lord, jump up and up. You know, you will find that you are okay and well. You also need to do physical exercise, by the way. When you come back to your room, you can't do that. You can't do that. Do that. Sometimes it makes you also physically fit. We have to be physically fit and also spiritually what? Fit as well. So the Bible says this. Ephesians 119. Give me a question. 119. The Bible says, and what is the exceedingly greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? According to the working of his mighty power. Carry on. Which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated at his right hand in the heavenly places. Mark this. We are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Here on earth, we are with Christ everywhere we go. He is always with us at the right hand. He is ready to help us and hold our hands and direct us in the right paths. And lead us in the right paths. And lead us in the right places. But many times, we go in the wrong place and we expect Christ to be there. Hello? Praise the Lord. You know we can't find Christ where you want him to be. We corner God many times. You know I'm corner too. God, kama unipatia hii misi junta kuwa aje. Kama unipatia hii kazi, mimi ni meisha. Kama stafata hii mungu, and so on. We are calling God because we want God to do some things just because of our own selfish interests. But he says, why don't you know this? You are, I am stayed with you in the right hand, in the heavenly places. I am with you in every place you go. I will hold you and stand with you and uphold you in everything. Praise the Lord. Bona yesu wa sifiwe. Yes, we are with him in the right, you know, in the heavenly places. Number five. Sorry, give me Ephesians 1.21. 1 and verses 21. King James. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. Let me read that again. Far above all principality. Sasa unashangaa hii tukidogo ati huyu mzee ni iba wetu huyu akwangi na mchezo. Ukia mtu nyumbani ukimuona tu hivi anakurushianga vitu zingine. Where I come from people say unarushianga wanakurushia vitu and then ukisha rushizo vitu sujiu utafanya nini hauta kuwa sawa unarushiwa. Sasa what do you have to throw to him? Can't you also do something about it? Praise the Lord. Can't you also throw something to that person? And say it, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in this whole place, in this village, I pray that you know, Lord, you will be able to start and be able to even carry out your mission and everything that happened in this place. Every principality in this village will bow in the name of Jesus. You can throw something as well. Like in it na uoga. We carry Christ but you know in fear. Okusha mbua. Let me give you, the, let me tell you this. Uh, there is young men who went to evangelize in Mombasa. Two young men. Wakena Mombasa. Wame charge. Wame toka, wame toka eh, CU. Ya college. Wame charge. He week in evangelism. Yeah? But they didn't go for prayers. So they didn't pre prepare for the mission. But they said, you know, ile, unajua ile psych, influence. Hey, leo, tunataka kuenda kuhubiri kabisa. Unaweza ubiri, hata minaesa. Unataka kuenda, hata minataka kuenda. Na wewe uko ready, hata miniko ready. Nisanga api, satisa, sawa, niko. And they went. They went to Mombasa. In a certain uh, town. And they go to a certain uh, home. And this home, there was a mzee. 
tutoli mzee habari yako eh sisi tunaitwa blabla from this college tumekuja kuhubiri na tunataka tukuombe mzee ujue Yesu ni bwana na Yesu ndio anakomboa so mzee told them na nyinyi ni kina nani we are born of god we are born again we thank god we have come to evangelize sisi ni wa waangelisti kutoka college okay so mzee told them good please have your seat wakaka so mzee home uka mjokoka mzee told them eh ndawajibu lakini nataka kuuliza swali moja huyo Mungu mnamuomba ni Mungu mgani ambaye tunajua ule Mungu ambao tunaomba ni ule ambaye alikufia msalabani alikuambia dhambi zako zote akafanya nini akafanya and they said and everything said okay sawa nashukuru kwa sababu mmeniambia hivyo naomba muamke kwa hizo viti zenu muende muamke hapo muende the boys tried tried to stand hawaamki hawaamki wana sababu wana wana shanga kwani what is happening wanaoga msa sio uamke siamke na wewe na mimi siamke na mimi siamke and all of them could not stand up the three of the young men could not stand up and then like so what is going to happen mzee akawaambia simuende mnaomba Mungu ambaye mnamjua simuende and they could not stand up wakaambia mzee ah mzee eh tume tunaomba msamaha kwa sababu tulikuwa tunakuja tu hapa tuko na mambo mbaya lakini tulikuwa tunasema tu labda kama ungependa nini kujua Yesu lakini si kwa ubaya mzee si kwa uba si kwa ubaya akawaambia ondokeni hapa na msafiri rudi hapa tena wakasimama they got lost and they never came back again lack of authority you know these young men what they did is they just went because just like they you know in a trip mnandanga trip let's go for the trip and they cut themselves in the trip not understanding anything not understanding about the mission field not even packaging themselves not not understanding the authority because if at all you are there all they could say is rapaka sakataya le prokosekere babosi laba kosere babosa and that house will be shaken will be shaken but you see all of a sudden they understood ni kama mzee ameshatufunga tayari and fear came in when fear came in that was it they were talk over and that's, that's that's exactly how that story ended and from that day they said evangelism to me acha ikae ile mambo niliona Mombasa you know that's how is it ile mambo niliona kisi i does is jaribu ile mambo niliona sio wapi because you know we have lacked that authority and understanding in Christ who is Jesus i don't know be there for hours but at the end of the day i will emerge victorious praise the lord hallelujah He never disappoints. Bible says that the Lord is not a man who can lie. When you speak to him things happen. When you pray he answers prayers. Is he God? Has he not said and said and meant what he's saying and accomplish it? He is still God. But unajua our doubts, you know our names, where we come from, unajua wewe ujui boss wangu wewe. Hmm? Umjui. Huyo anaweza kufuta saa hii tu na uende home. You you can't you know you can hold your job in your hands you know that did you know you can hold your job there's one time my my boss attempted to fire me no actually demote me so i was demoted when i was demoted i went to the branch because i used, i was the head of the department when i went to the branch i went there the holy spirit minister to me and say don't worry I mean, don't even don't complain about it just go and when you go there open because our branch had no fellowship we used to do prayers in the you know head office but I went to the branch there was no there was no prayers happening so I went there i formed a fellowship So every morning we will wake up I mean we will wake up very early do 30 minutes of prayer and fellowship and we could pray and pray and pray and before you know it the fellowship will go the head office it kanza kudidimia and the fellowship now in the branch it was very strong now the branch began performing the branch everything changed everything was just you know taking shape and I know this this man was Asian when after two months after two months he was fired without notice testimony that i saw with my own eyes just by listening to the holy spirit and and you know just being under and authority of the lord two months fired without notice then the same same month i was promoted to a very very high position Amen. praise the lord Amen. and when i asked god what was happening he said you know i fight for those who are my own let me tell you child of god if there's someone who is fighting you the lord shall fight for you Praise the Lord. If they send one battling you, 
the Lord, our God Almighty Father, he shall surely fight for you. Praise the Lord. He is not a man who can lie. Men can deceive. God never deceives. God will always hold his people together because he knows you have to accomplish that mission that he has given unto you. Amen. Whether you are two or three, begin. You may be in a place whereby at hands of a fellowship, just be praying in that place of a place of work alone, alone, alone. You'll find a helper and he will come and help you. Two, three, four, five. Before you know it, even the boss is joining. When he comes there because he's not born again, but you know, slowly by slowly, he'll be coming together, pole pole, and you give him a chance to speak. When he speaks, say, Nashkusana koi fellowship, mandele hivo hivo hivo. One day, you'll just be praying, and you know by the led and conviction of the Holy Spirit, that man will get born again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Women, and we are here, and your husband are not born again. You don't give up. You know, put yourself in the authority of prayer. Kneel down and say, Father, I pray for the love of my life. Lord, this man, you gave me surely. I understand you have power and authority to make him well and even to make him complete. I pray, Father, may it be well with him. I pray for his salvation. I pray for his soul. Lord, manifest in his family. You'll find a few days over and over. He will be joining you. Before you know it, he'll get born again. Before you know it, he's in charge. Before you know it, he's even going to overtake you. Praise the Lord. But we give up so fast. We give up so fast. Ah, we only remember we are Sioni. My brother, we were China. Eh, I don't find you any we Sioni because you have lacked the authority in Christ Jesus. Number five and the last point is we have the power of God's word. We have the power of God's word to exercise our authority. Praise the Lord. We have the power of God's word to exercise our authority. Mark 4, 35 to 40. And give me Mark 16 and verses 17. Mark 4, 35 to 40. And give me Mark 16 and verses 17. King James Version, please. In the name of Jesus. This day we are saying our authority in Christ will never be compromised again. Praise the Lord. Amen. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Carry on. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat in the boat, so that it was already filling. The boat was already filling. But he was in the stand, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Teacher, we are here perishing. Can't you see we are perishing? Can't you see we are almost drowning? The Bible says what? It says, Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. He arose. He arose and rebuked the wind. Do we arise and rebuke some things in our life? He said, you know, he said already, he is sitting with us in heavenly places. So what he did, we can also do it. Because we get the mind of Christ, we can think the same way he did. But you know, when we're in this place, fear engulfs. The devil brings fear to us. He puts us in a place of fear and frustration. So you are complaining from a place of failure and not from a place of victory. We'd rather complain, not even complain. We'd rather, you know, stand in the place of victory on the winning side. The Bible says he arose, rebuked him, and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Next verse says what? The Bible says this. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? Why could you not even do this? How is it that you have no faith? Carry on. Bible says, and they feared exceedingly and said to one another, who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, God has spoken to you many times. Sometimes you pray and you feel there's a sort of power coming on in your hands and you want to lay your hands on someone to get well. But you say, I'm going to pray and I'm going to pray. Because the fear that comes in you. Fear engulfed these men. 
But when they saw Christ, when they started asking themselves, and who is this person? How comes this has happened? But the Bible says what? It says, because you have lacked faith, you could not have done this. Faith is what the fuel that enables you to perform things which cannot be performed at any place. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've got to stamp our authority in Christ Jesus. Mark 16 and verse 17 as we conclude. God has given us everything we require for this journey. But we don't pursue. We don't follow. We don't make things right. We always try and stumble in the path and always going back and forth instead of focusing ahead. The Bible says this, and these signs, let's all of us say, and these signs. And these signs. Say, and these signs. And these signs. Will, follow will follow those who believe, those who believe. In, my in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Carry on. The Bible says this. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. I wish someone would say, that is my word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible says, this sign shall accompany you. In my name, you shall do things that you cannot even imagine. You will lay your hand on the sick and they'll get well. You see, you see, the serpent is the devil. So you will kick out the devil. Praise the Lord. You will hold your rogue. Let me, let me give you a testimony. Uh, one lady, we went, I went to witness to her. She was having marital problems with the husband. So we went as a fellowship team. When we, went, we go, got there, uh, she, she, you know, she was in bad moods with the husband and we prayed and, you know, we we're just trying to bring that uh, harmony between the family. But along the way, there were still so much challenges because I think the lady was accusing the man of many things. Now, it continued over time. What I told her is, because there has been all this back and forth, before we even address the many issues, please, as a woman, the Bible says what? You know, women have the power to guard their homes. Amen? Women, are we together? Yes. Now, when she came, I told her, I just want to invite her for fellowship. Because you have been having tr trouble with your husband. Why don't you just come? First of all, search yourself. You know, sometimes we keep blaming others. We don't look at ourselves. Praise the Lord. Some problems are us. You keep blaming your man going out. But you know what? Are there things you're doing right to keep this man in the home? Hello? Praise the Lord. And so we uttered her with the women in the, in the, in the fellowship. They, she came to the fellowship. And she began, you know, being in the fellowship and so on. She actually got born again. But you know, after three days, because hakuwa naona matokeo. Tumeomba lakini naoni matokeo. Akasema, apa siwini kama natobua sahi. Because I want this thing very fast. I want to very fast action. I want to it's called uh, microwave solutions. Very fast. So, she decided to go to a witch doctor. Akaona easy posters na andikuanga huku. And Pastor Joe, I thank God that we used to remove these posters on this road. I don't know if they are still there. If these posters are still there, where we come on issues, tena, umoja, if you see any post of a witch doctor, just go and remove it. What you are doing is that. Then he came up and said, I'm going to go to the You have authority. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why should people be calling these people on this one and they are going into disaster and you are a child of God just watching? Muganga, kutoka kitui, ni natibu magonjo kama, ni ni doa, natibu pesa, ukipotea unarudi. You are a liar. The, the Lord we serve knows everything. He is able to take care of everything. So, yeah, yeah, kaona. Because you don't remove these things, akenda kaona. Because you don't do what? Nda kaona, akapiga simu. Nga kamambi, mimi ni Muhammad kutoka Mombasa. Suleiman, sujui nini? Sawa. Nkipenda kusaidie? Sawa. Njo dada, akaitua. She went. After, imagine, this is a doctor, let me tell you. Doctor. Yes. Yes. A full doctor. Natibu watu kabisa nini nini? She went. Nachukua, kaenda kwa mganga. 
she took 80,000 to a witch doctor. And the witch doctor akamwambia ekelea hapo kwa sahani akawekelea. The room was very dark. You know those things we hear, they are actually that way because you see what they do they use intimidation. Wanakufanya mpaka unasikia yeye hapa hii mambo inaenda tu saa hii. Venye hiyo sauti venye anaongea nayo tu hiyo hata ni kama tu nisha hapo. Nisha hiyo mambo ishafanyika huko. Kwenye mzee yuko. So anatoa sauti hapo unasikia uzitu wengine unasema basi. Huyo mzee hata tayari ana shift kwenye yuko. Kwambie sasa ekelea hapo anawekelea. Aya. E, akapoa maji akunywe akajiosha sijui na maji. You know let me tell you. Someone who has gone to school with a degree and even pursuing a masters going to undress before a witch doctor. This man anakuangalia like India. Nimesema utoe. Na akatoa with authority. With what? And the authority worked for him. And the girl did what? Did that. Na akatoa nguo. Akayafanyishwa nini? Akaamba sasa oga. Akapoa maji ngipi akaoga nayo kwa mwili. And that's one so forth. And that's how from there akaambua now na kupatia kitu fulani inaitwa kamoti kamoti akapewa imefungwa you know let me tell you i've never seen a kamoti i saw it in the first first time eh, ikafungwa vile ilifungwa akaekwa kwa hii ni kama ya banana leaves eh ikarapiwa hapo ndani so he went akaenda naye akaambua hii kwa pilo ya mzee ekelea hapo mzee ekelea tu hivi akiamka hata wao enda malipopote kabisa na asubuhi unaamka kabla yeye amke na unafanya sijui nini akamwambia all kind of things you know, make sure you shower at 6 a.m. You know, those kind of very funny and, you know, very funny things. Now, can I you? Now, when this pursued on over and over, she realized things were not working out. The man is still going. The man is still beating her. The man is still coming with the wall. Then, you know, she, she called them Ganga. And Ganga told him, you have to come again with another 5,000 to, to replenish that I gave you. Then, when she was leaving that place, I know she went the second time. When she went there, now the witch doctor told him, now, we are going to do a covenant with you. We have, I have to sleep with you. Once I sleep with you, now I am going out to invoke that. The moment you are going to be with your man, that is exactly what is going to happen. When this girl got there, now this caught her. You know, God is very faithful. When you confess, because she had confessed Jesus. She had confessed Jesus. Because of that confession, she found herself crying and ran away from the place. She started screaming. She left. When she left, she came directly to our house. And that day we were with Pastor Vivian, uh, Pastor Joe. And we were just taking a cup of tea. We had just had a very nice fellowship. You know, God also makes things aligned. You run away from, but God will bring you back. So we had had a three days of prayer and fasting. So we were just taking a tumefungua sasa tunakunywa kachai. Then the girl runs in our house and just, just runs and just knows, you know, uh, falls on our feet and says, Everything, all kinds of things. Told her now, just, 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 just that. You know, pole pole, where are you coming from? Hey, explain it well. You know, you keep coming to the man of God, man of God, man of God, this idea, man of God. You know, let me tell you. You've got to explain where you went from day one to the very end. We have to understand it. Because you can't just be doing up a game to your kati, juna chini apana. We can't be doing God kati kati kila sa. Praise the Lord. We've got to understand God is almighty and he's not, he cannot be just be played for. So he came to Kumambia, Akalir Kumambia, just cry. When you finish crying, then you can explain to us. When she finished crying, she said, Nani kisema lafu vitu sinifanyie, ni kamuambia, kamu utaka zikufanyikie, ruti huko, basi zikufanyikie. But if you want healing and deliverance, you speak. When she spoke, she said things. And she told me, eh, sasa, nilienda, nikafanyo, all those things that I've said. Then she had been given some thing. Kamuti. Ni kamuambia yu kitu umekelea, umeka, just put down here. Akaweka. So we prayed, we prayed, we prayed with her. We led her in prayers and told her, now in the next seven days, you're going to pray dry fasting. Praise the Lord. Hakuna joke kwa mungu. Yes. You can't just go there and do things. We have to ensure that you go back to God in prayer, seeking him, in crying. The Bible says, draw close to me and I will draw close to you. Seven days. And I told her, Every evening you come, doctor, ni kampatia timetable. The way anapayanga watu prescription. Asubu, kutoka kazini, una report hapa. Every evening you come here for prayers for the next seven days. No eating, nothing. And that's what he did. On the seventh day, that's when we went to her house to do deliverance. And then she gave us now the kamuti. 
Kamuti ni mbao. Hello? Don't be scared with these names that people give. You are only scared because you have no authority in Christ. If you know the authority you have in Christ, these things will never scare you. That time I, we were with my wife. I can be you kitu. I was she had just given me. I can be utala na yako hii nyumba yetu ama utapeleka. Na nataka kujuta iweka wa. So I told her, "Mommy, don't worry. You just have a very peaceful night. Nothing is going to happen just like that day she prayed, she prayed, she prayed, she prayed, she prayed. And you know, nikamwambia, that's today you have really charged. You will be charging that every day. He charge me fanya leo ni hali ya juu. So she charged, she charged, she charged and I thanked her because even as she was praying, things were just happening. So I took it, nikai wrap into a paper and I put it somewhere on top. And I said in the name of Jesus Christ, you are powerless. Braka shakata. Le prokozo lo babo zia. Every power that has been spoken and every command made on this thing today we nearly fight in the name of Jesus you are powerless and just like any other so I place somewhere so early morning she woke up very early she cleaned the whole house trying to see if she can find something that can seem to be like a kamoti like in Yakopata so we went there we did a covenant in terms again we have refreshing 80000 you give to them ganga and you come and give god 1500 200 you see, the same measure you used, all your salary, you're going to take it to the house of God, to your pastor. Ensure you take that sacrifice in the same way, even better, so that this can actually cancel that. Because you see, already you have built another altar somewhere else. You've got to break this altar with another altar. Exactly. Today, she's, she's well, she's blessed. She even bought a car in the name of Jesus. Stamping your authority in Jesus Christ. God is so powerful. But sometimes we don't even give God time to do the things he's supposed to do in our lives. Ladies and gentlemen, we are supposed to know that God is omnipresent. He's everywhere. Let us stop trying to think so hard about what God will do or not. As long as you understand this scripture and the word is spoken to us, you will emerge victorious. You will always arise. You will always shine because the Lord our God shall always go before you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This day we are saying we want to declare the power of God. He says when you lay your hands on the sick, they will get well. When you speak, things will happen. Bible says you have the power in your tongue. There are things you can speak and they will come to happen. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But negativity in your mouth, every time is things which are not right. And wholesome talk. Kila sao kiongea tu mambo yako ikuangi mzuri. Kila satu, lazima, you can't miss something is not right. You must be speaking something against something. Negativity. Your mind is full of negative thoughts. You can never pursue the things of God if you are still living in negativity. Praise the Lord. It begins with change of mind. It begins with change of heart. It begins with change of character and personality. You've got to forge ahead understanding. God has given me a responsibility. And because I have power in me, I can cause things to happen. God is faithful. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. In, in Christ you will move. In Christ you will do things happen. In Christ you will change situation. In Christ you will change circumstances. In Christ you will move mountains. Because he is our God. He is always faithful. Rise on the feet right now.